Hey guys, my name is Cassandra and I promise you I do not normally look like this in my videos. So if you're new here, please don't think this is what I look like every single time I upload a video. So don't let that scare you away from subscribing if you're new here. Um, my name is Cassandra, by the way, if you are, and I have a family of four. I homeschool here in Yellowknife Northwest Territories. And today I'm going to be sharing with you our Ireland unit study for the week. So I do a country every week for the children. Uh, my children are five and three, and we do this for two weeks in a row, and then we take a week off so I can plan the next two countries, sometimes two weeks, depending on what's going on. You'll get a video like this every so often. Hope I'm aiming for about two a month. So um, definitely ring that bell though, because I do do different kinds of content. So you can, and if you hit the bell next to the subscribe button, then you can be notified of my videos so that you can choose what you are here for and what you're interested in. So I do want to let you guys know I am sorry, but I did do five meals for Ireland, but I did not capture them on video. So everything will be linked down below, all the recipes that I used, as well as a Pinterest board. Um, I do a Pinterest board for the countries if I have Pinterest activities that I've done. I don't know that there are any for Ireland. Wait, if there is anything, it will be linked down below for you. Um, so the, I will show you what I do have of the meals. It's not much, but I do have the homeschool video, uh, the homeschool activities and books uh, on video for you. So <laughs> let's get started. So for Ireland, we've just done some little Ireland, uh, I don't even know what you call this, like tissue paper art to make the flag. So we're gonna hang those up. I just always keep a whole bunch of squared, square cut tissue paper in all different sizes kind of in the craft stuff. So if they ever want to do stuff like this, then they can. Um, and then I also bought Ticket to Ride. So this is our new homeschool shelf. I don't know if I showed you guys that. I think I might have, but I brought, bought this Ticket to Ride First Journey and it's the Europe one and I love Ticket to Ride. So I was super excited to get that for them for Ireland. So today I've got this little note um, and it says, oops. Did I make a mess? Can you help me find my friends? I think they're hidden around your house. I sure hope they haven't played any tricks on you. And so I've got all this gold glitter on their morning binders. And then I've just hidden these little leprechauns all over the house that have played tricks on them. So here obviously the leprechauns use those pinwheel pasta to try to play that game. To excuse the giant mess. This. Leprechaun has put their babies upside down in a stroller. Just little things that they'll be able to find. Sorry, it's nighttime, the lighting's not very good, but this leprechaun's pulled some stories out. This one's tied up the curtain. This one has put their Paw Patrol thing upside down. Yeah, so they can search around in the morning and, and find the different little things. And then I have a leprechaun book, which you really can't see. I'll bring over to the light. There we go. Um, so it's too, you can't see much better that way. Too, too many leprechauns or how that pot of gold got to the end of the rainbow. So it's actually quite a long one. So I haven't read through it yet. I'll let you know how it goes. So a couple things I forgot here. One day we did sheep because there's obviously sheep farming in Ireland. So I got a different, a couple different sheep books and I'm going to show you a few activities we did with the sheep as well. So we got this little red riding sheep. It was okay. Nothing I guess I should show you inside in case you, it is up your alley. It wasn't exactly up our alley. Just like a lot of jokes and stuff that the kids didn't get and <laughs> Uh, that I didn't think were funny and <laughs> um, it was okay. It's supposed to be like a twist on Little Red Riding Hood, but it was okay. Like I said, I probably wouldn't get that one. Um, no sleep for the sheep. This is a good one, a good, uh, like one of those repeating phrases books. So in the big red barn on the farm on the farm in the big red barn on the farm. Is this a song maybe? A sheep fell asleep in the big red barn in the big red barn on the farm. Yeah, tell me if that's a song, if you know, in the comments down below. But uh, basically, all these people come to the sheep's door. All these people, by people, I mean animals, 
come to the sheep's door and uh, wake him up and he just says, okay, go to sleep. And by the end, he's got this big pile of animals. It's pretty cute. This is a good one. So no sleep for the sheep. Written by Karen, you see that below. Uh, this is a cute one too. Wally does not want a haircut. So um, yeah, basically his mom is trying to convince him to get a haircut and Finally, she convinces him, and it's pretty cute. Oh, because he gets stuck. That's why he gets stuck between these hay bales. So she cuts his hair, and he looks handsome. So there's that one. Okay, so I'll get to these in a second. So some of the activities we did was, I don't know if you guys have these paper toilet paper roll crafts. I think my mother-in-law got these at Winners, but someone else sent them to us, and they got them from somewhere else. So maybe they're on Amazon. I don't know, but... They're pretty good. I would recommend these if you have kids that are a little bit older. Like my five-year-old is still can't really do these independently. So if you're willing to help your kids, then these are fantastic. Um, if not, then don't get it. <laughs> but they do make really cute little crafts. This is a little sheep we did for this unit. And then another option I have for you. Oh, I just wanted to show you that there was different ones. So we have two different kinds of these books. This we got from the dollar store. So if you guys see anything like this, this is a really good option too. It's draw with me farm animals. So there's a little sheep here and it's really easy. They can easily do this independently. Uh, so there's only really nine steps here and both of my kids, the three and five year old really enjoy that. So the next day we did castles because Ireland has a bunch of castles. So we did Mr. King's castle. Uh, this one was a, more of a hit with my kids. It's uh, just like a creative thing where he cuts out see shapes from his land basically and makes a big castle but his friends get upset and so they help him put it back together and then they build him a little castle on top on the end. And then this one was called Max Castle. This one I wouldn't recommend either but again just go to your library and get some castle books that might work for you or purchase them online. But I'll just give you an idea I just share with you. Um, these things, you know, just in case, just to show you what sort of things we got. Um, so we got that one and this one. And then that day we did the, we took the fort building kit. We have two of them. I'll put them in the description down below for you. I can't remember exactly what they're called right now, but we built a big castle fort in the living room that day. Uh, sorry, I didn't get that on camera, but <laughs> those are the two activities that we did along with the rest that you've seen. Okay, I'm trying to do this with my computer because Chris took my phone to work. Hopefully you can hear me okay. But we are going to talk about how it rains a lot in Ireland. So I got a lot of books about rain. I got first the big umbrella. I'll just give you a little look through them. And that one. And then we've got puddles. I don't really like the words where it's like, just like, blam, like, I don't know, comic -y, I guess. Yeah, this is just like, no words. So, I wouldn't get that one again. Then we've got Sometimes Rain. Oh, cute. Okay, so, so sometimes sledding, frozen toes, sometimes carrots, sometimes nose. Cute. And then the last one is This Beautiful Day. That's we're stomping our feet on the ground, has us all skipping and singing aloud. So it's a rhyming one. I've just decided to set it up here because it's just too tricky on the window. I do like that I have a window ledge, but I like kind of that they can see it first thing when they come downstairs. This is a real Irish breakfast. I cook these with, I make my own wedge seasoning and I just put a bit of wedge seasoning in it and then I put it in the Instant Pot Duo Crisp and I air fry them for 20 minutes. But I turn the temperature down, it's like 365 I think. Anything I put with the automatic temperature that comes up, it always burns. So I mean these are even on the, a little bit of the burnt side. I think I cook these for 25 minutes so they're a little more crisp, but <laughs> yeah. Thank 
you so much for watching this video today, guys. I do hope you consider subscribing and ringing that bell. Um, and also liking this video if you found it enjoyable and helpful. Let me know if you are doing anything like this in the comments below. The reason I decided to do um, these unit studies like this is because I couldn't really find anything that was an American geography or history for the ages of my children. I think it is a little diff more difficult to find like uh, non-American <laughs> content, at least at the things I was looking at. So I decided I wanted to do, I, I, I like this sort of creative outlet anyway. I like planning things like this for my children. And just so you know, too, if you are new here, this isn't all I do. Um, we do do other curriculum things as well. I had, they have like morning basket time and we do the all about reading program right now. And we're waiting for master books and sunlight. We will be trying all sorts of different curriculum. So if you're interested in curriculum reviews or, you know, you're kind of choosing between a few things, always feel free to let me know in the comments below if there's some curriculum you want me to review or purchase and try with my children because I'm happy to do it. We have a really good homeschool funding here, so I'm able to, I am very blessed to be able to try different curriculums and things like that. So anyway, definitely if that is something that's interesting to you, then definitely consider hitting the subscribe button and always, yeah, go ahead and comment anything that you want to see and I am here to provide it for you. <laughs> I love doing homeschool content. That's my favorite thing to do on this channel. So anytime I can do more of it, I am happy to do it. So anyway, thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.